it was, it's all right. Let our friends stay. It's fine. It's all right. Let our friends stay. It's fine. Last week there was a vote to leave the European Union. Wasn't my wish. Wasn't the wish I suspect of a large number of people here. And we now have a difficult economic situation we have to deal with. And I was trying to call this out today and demand that we. Uh, gain protection for the workers' rights that we've got, gain protection for the social chapter that we've got, the environmental sustainability regulations we've got, and all of those issues. But what I'm absolutely appalled by is the rise in racist attacks and racist violence over the past week within this country. This afternoon I went to the Polish Centre in Hammersmith to express my support, sympathy and solidarity to them. And recognize that the vote last week was a vote of anger, was a vote of desperation by many places around the country. Post-industrial Britain, of communities that were destroyed by the Tory government under Margaret Thatcher and John Major in the 1980s, still have high levels of unemployment, have still lost their economic viability because of the destruction of basic very big heavy industries of that period. A free market economy is not going to solve the problems of those areas. An interventionist economy that invests in those areas, invests in the infrastructure that's necessary, invests in the jobs that's necessary is something that will help those communities and will ensure those young people in those communities that haven't got jobs, that do get good training but cannot carry that training on into developing work, do get some help and some support. So those are actually the general areas that we're putting forward. But I also want to say this about the culture and lives of our society. We have rights to health, to education, to housing, to voting and all those things, not because anybody ever gave them to us, but because people struggled to achieve them, struggled to achieve those rights historically, as they do all over the world. And in those struggles, we have benefited from them. And so, our campaign is about social justice. It is about expression. It is about the cultural values of our society. It is about understanding that every child deserves, of course, good school, good health, good housing, but every child also deserves the chance to learn music, to learn poetry, to learn painting, to learn art, to be able to express themselves in an open and free way. Because it's that sort of creative, dynamic society that is something that is very exciting and brings us all together. We're in the midst of a very interesting political time in this country. I was very honoured to be elected to lead the Labour Party last year. I've done my best over this year to develop the policy changes we want, to reach out to people in the way that we want, and recognise there are many in the party who may not completely agree with the direction I want to take us. But I also recognise that the mandate was given by hundreds of thousands of ordinary people joining in a political process, just as is happening across Europe, just as is happening across the United States, because they want to see a politics that is more reflective of them and their lives, their hopes and their community of aspirations, rather than the economic orthodoxy of the retreat of the wealth to the wealthiest, that the poor may get poorer. It simply is immoral and wrong, the economic process that is being offered to us by the right within our society. Surely, together we have strength. Surely, together, we can harness the technology we've got. Surely, together, we can be very strong and not be afraid of press barons who attack us. Not be afraid. Not be afraid of those who can only offer us greater and deeper inequality in society. It's mobilising people, mobilising free thinking, mobilising ideas in order to concentrate those into policies that can actually improve the lives of everybody in our society. That is why we contested the leadership of this party a year ago. That is why I'm very proud to be carrying on with that work and carrying on as a